There are worlds that exist, separate from our own. Where the impossible is reality. So this title is a, a game that features characters from Dragon Ball or Naruto, uh, One Piece. These are characters that are very uh, known. These players uh, come together in this single game uh, to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Shonen Jump series, uh, which has continued to uh, put out these uh, very iconic uh, major uh, titles. So unfortunately, uh, we cannot reveal how many characters exactly at this current stage uh, because it's, uh, we just announced it. Uh, but we are uh, making sure that characters that are included will satisfy the fans. All your favorites will be there. So uh, just look forward to our future announcements. So uh, we are sort of keeping in the theme and spirit of this 50th anniversary like celebration. Uh, so this three versus three is going to have this free, uh, free form of changing and interchanging between your characters. So another uh, unique aspect is I think uh, we're trying to make the, the battle system and mechanics uh, a little bit more e uh, easier and casual. So it's a very uh, free form sort of change and interplay between the uh, characters that you choose. So you can uh, extend your combos uh, with, with the change of the characters, but you can also interrupt uh, your opponent's uh, combos by switching your character at a certain time. So I think uh, you just can uh, really find it enjoyable to experiment, uh, you know, with different timings of changing the character. So like, oh, you know, maybe if I change here, you know, maybe this will happen. So I think there's a lot of trial and error and a lot of experimentation and uh, things like that that the uh, the user can expect and enjoy. So our balancing approach with this game uh, is not so much the bonafide fighting game. So unlike Dragon Ball Fighter Z and esports and uh, doing evil titles and uh, things like that, we want to reach out uh, as many people as possible because the fans of these series are going to come from very different backgrounds. So we wanted to make sure that every every player from any spectrum, whether you're a casual or a hardcore gamer, uh, can kind of jump in and play and have fun. So yes, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter Z did have its uh, success in the esports and the competitive fighting game community and genre. The Jump Force is more focused on uh, the sort of more, more casual or more uh, broader, uh, comprehensive uh, success. A good comparison to the gameplay would be uh, something like Dragon Ball uh, Xenoverse or uh, Ninja Ultimate uh, Storm or a little bit uh, older series uh, like the Budokai series uh, in the Dragon Ball game. So we believe uh, in incorporating all the different characters. Uh, if we try to feature very unique uh, controls with each character, uh, it would be too difficult uh, to like transition from one character to another or to make the, the gameplay and uh, the battle system too uh, complicated for the user. Uh, so we wanted to establish a sort of a, a foundational ground level uh, commonality between all the characters. How we distinguish uh, the characters on top of the foundational uh, similarities uh, or, the, or the common uh, aspects is through the like their special moves, for example, uh, their action, um, and the effects that we use uh, for each character uh, would help to bring out their the unique qualities of each character. Uh, so, for example, you know, let's say you're a very big fan of Goku, and you you know you, you dive right in and you practice Goku a lot. You spend a lot of time on Goku. You perfect Goku. Uh, and maybe uh, one day you want to switch to Naruto uh, just to play around. Uh, we want to make sure that the user doesn't feel like he has to, uh, or he or she has to start from the very beginning or start from step one. And maybe they can just uh, jump right into Naruto uh, and, and, and continue their, uh, their journey. Uh, so our daily uh, challenge was, you know, if, if we were to just put them uh, at, as they were, uh, and just put them in a 3D world, uh, you know, they just kind of look like, you know, just like dolls or whatever. It just didn't look right. Uh, so our, our challenge is to how, how to fit them in this sort of universe of uh, this very realistic universe in 3D. So for example, uh, Luffy in, uh, from One Piece, from the original series, his, his jacket or his, uh, like his vest 
uh, is made of cotton or like cloth uh, originally, or supposed to be. Um, but uh, in this game, uh, we didn't exactly mirror it that way. So in, uh, in order to bring out a little bit of realism and sort of realistic quality to the material, we sort of put this sort of a leather quality uh, to his vest to bring out a little bit of that, uh, that texture and make it a little bit more uh, fitful for this uh, realistic environment. So uh, to answer your question about, uh, you know, is, was it was it intentional to be uh, have a dark darker atmosphere? Is it intentional to have a little, sort of a more mature look? Uh, yes, it was a little bit uh, intentional in that it is a 50th anniversary sort of celebration uh, series. So uh, we wanted to sort of kind of appeal to the adult audience as well. Uh, so we can't really reveal too many details about you know who's going to be the main villain or the last boss or whatever. But you know, as you've seen in the trailer, you know, Goku, Luffy, uh, and Naruto is facing off against Frieza, uh, and you know they're they're battling and crashing uh, together. Uh, and then you see uh, from afar, you know, uh, Light and Ryuk is kind of just overwatching this uh, thing happen, just observing from very far away. Uh, so. What that means, you know, we'll you know further develop, I guess, and uh, I think that's something that uh, you you all can sort of exercise your imagination and you know see well what might be, you know.